buried 700 meters underground. China has dug a deep pit building in the Greater Bay Area, which carries the future mission of physics. Let's take a closer look in this video. Deep in the mountains of Jiangmen, Guangdong, the Jiangmen Neutrino Experimental Device is under construction. At present, the infrastructure construction has been completed and the equipment installation stage has entered, and it is expected to start operation and take data in 2024. By then, this laboratory hidden 700 meters underground will capture a kind of ghost particle in the universe. They are neutrinos. So what are neutrinos? Why is China spending billions to build an experimental project on neutrinos? A neutrino is a type of lepton, one of the most fundamental particles that make up nature. The common symbol is the Greek letter V. There are three types of neutrinos, electron, muse, and tau. Among the 12 kinds of elementary particles in the known material world, neutrinos account for a quarter. Scientists believe that more than 10 billion years ago, due to the action of neutrinos, antimatter disappeared and finally formed our world. If the neutrino information is deciphered, the secret of the formation of the universe can be deciphered. Detecting neutrinos from supernovae can also tell us about the mechanics of supernova explosions. Therefore, neutrinos play an extremely important role in the microscopic particle physics and the macroscopic origin and evolution of the universe, and it is of great significance to study them. From a practical point of view, studying neutrinos is also very meaningful. Because neutrinos are small, uncharged, and very light in mass, they interact very weakly with other matter. They can pass through mountains, oceans, and even planets almost unimpeded in a straight line, and they are not affected by gravity like light. So there is almost nothing that can stop a neutrino as it travels. It is because of the characteristics that neutrinos can penetrate the formation. It may one day become a practical form of communication that not only penetrates everything, but also cannot be jammed, intercepted and cracked. Among other things, neutrino detectors help monitor the progress of nuclear reactions. After all, the environment of nuclear reactions is very dangerous. If neutrino detectors can be used, the power of nuclear power plant reactors can be monitored in real time without hindrance, and the reaction of its fuel can be understood. Although neutrino research is of great significance, few countries in the world are qualified for research. The reason is simple, studying neutrinos is too difficult. To study neutrinos, neutrinos first need to be discovered. However, there are many high-energy cosmic rays in the Earth's atmosphere, which will produce strong radiation and particle interference, which will have a great impact on the normal operation of the experiment. Therefore, if you want to build a neutrino laboratory, you must be below the ground, preferably below 500 meters. This allows the formation to filter out the influence of interfering particles, and also provides relatively stable temperature and humidity, improving the accuracy and reliability of experimental data. In the neutrino laboratory, not only the deep hole must be dug, but the most critical part is the neutrino scintillation detector component. The detector component looks like a huge jar consisting of tens of thousands of liquid scintillators and tens of thousands of photomultiplier tubes. Liquid scintillator The liquid scintillator is sealed in a container made of steel and plexiglass and is the medium for detecting neutrinos. As a large number of neutrinos pass through the detector, they occasionally react inside the detector, emitting an extremely faint flicker of light. There are two kinds of liquid scintillators, one is alkyl benzene and the other is ultra-pure water. 
This ultra-pure water is different from the pure water we drink. It is ultra-pure water refined through strict technology. It can be said that ultra-pure water is more insulating than wood. A photomultiplier tube that can convert light signals into electrical signals will be installed in the liquid scintillator, and the scintillation light emitted by neutrinos reacting in the liquid scintillator can be captured by the photomultiplier tube. The reason for this design is to give the detector a clean environment. By placing the detectors deep underground, rocks can be used to block cosmic rays. By soaking the detector in liquid scintillator, water can be used to block natural radioactivity from rocks, air, and dust. This neutrino scintillation detector component is very difficult to build. For example, the shell of the water tank is a stainless steel reticulated shell, which should be made of stainless steel with low radioactive background. Inside is a very thin plexiglass ball, not only to ensure that it will not be crushed by tens of thousands of tons of liquid, but also to ensure that its weight will not crush the stainless steel reticulated shell. As for the photomultiplier tubes inside, it's more difficult, it's called detector eyes. These elliptical, golden pupils, can convert the neutrino's optical signal into an electrical signal and magnify it by 10 million times, so as to obtain information such as its energy and position, which can be analyzed and processed by a computer. Before 2016, there was only one company that could produce 20 inches photomultiplier tubes, and the price generally ranged from 50,000 to 60,000 yuan. In general, a neutrino detector requires tens of thousands of photomultiplier tubes, that is to say, the price of photoelectric multiplier tubes is enough to scare off most countries. Therefore, neutrino detection has been monopolized by Western developed countries. Currently, there are only four neutrino detectors in the world. They are the Kamioka detector in Japan, the Sudbury Neutrino Observatory in Canada, the Irving Michigan Brookhaven, IMB, detector in the United States, and the Ice Cube Neutrino Observatory in Antarctica, USA. If we add the Buck 3 Neutrino Observatory built by the Soviet Union at the bottom of Lake Baikal in 1977, there are only five. Although the Super Cameo Candy Detector has made Japan a lot, the Japanese are not satisfied and are still planning to build new and larger detectors to consolidate their monopoly position in the field of neutrino detection. The United States is currently planning to build a new world's largest neutrino detector at a depth of 1.5 kilometers underground at the Sanford Underground Research Center in South Dakota. In this world-class competition of neutrino research, the Chinese are not absent and cannot be absent. In order to break the monopoly of Western countries on neutrino research, in 2003, researchers from the Institute of High Energy Physics of the Chinese Academy of Sciences put forward the idea of using a large number of neutrinos produced by the Daya Bay Nuclear Reactor Group to search for this third type of neutrino oscillation. On March 8, 2012, Daya Bay Laboratory won the first place, discovered the third neutrino oscillation mode, and accurately measured its oscillation probability. At the end of the year, the results of the Daya Bay neutrino experiment were selected as one of the top 10 scientific breakthroughs in 2012 by the U.S. magazine Science. However, due to limited experimental conditions, better detectors are needed to achieve better experimental results. To this end, in 2013, China established the Jiangmen Neutrino Experiment Project. Jiangmen City belongs to China's Guangdong province and is located in the Greater Bay Area, 53 kilometers away from Yangjiang and Taishan nuclear power plants. 
After the two major reactors are fully completed, the total power ranks first in the world, and double the experimental samples can be obtained. In order to build this Jiangmen detector, China has overcome difficulties and achieved many miracles in engineering physics. For example, the stainless steel reticulated shell in the detector is one of the largest single stainless steel main structures in China, with a diameter of 41 meters. 3 inches photomultiplier tubes only as well as many key components such as front-end electronics, cables, anti-magnetic coils, and light barriers. Just this network frame consumes 900 tons of steel and can only be fixed by 120,000 sets of high-strength bolts. Inside the grid is the world's largest single plexiglass structure, a plexiglass ball with a diameter of 35.4 meters and a thickness of only 120 millimeters. Although thin as an eggshell, it has extremely strong sturdiness. The researchers adopted the body bonding process so that the 263 glass plates are integrated and there is no trace of splicing at all. There are also 45,000 photomultiplier tubes, for times the number of Japan's Super Shengang detectors. If it is imported from abroad, it means that the cost will far exceed that of the Kamioka detector in Japan. In the end, Chinese scientific researchers paid a huge price to realize the localization of photomultiplier tubes, breaking the foreign monopoly of more than 30 years. Today, the Jiangmen Neutrino Laboratory has been built for 10 years. Compared with the United States and Japan, the Jiangmen Neutrino Laboratory will be completed first, and it is also the most promising to be the first to measure the mass order of the three neutrinos. Clarifying this sequence will help humans to further understand the origin of neutrino mass and solve the mystery of the disappearance of antimatter in the universe, and will determine the development direction of follow-up experiments, which is an internationally recognized priority for neutrino research. Before long, the Jiangmen neutrino detector will be filled with tens of thousands of tons of liquid scintillators, together with tens of thousands of photoelectric intensifier tubes quietly waiting for the neutrinos to light up. The Jiangmen neutrino detector has fully proved that the Chinese will not be absent in the journey of exploring the unknown universe. Let us wait and see. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to our channel for more great content. See you next time.